Hey friends, now I'll start a video on the much needed comparison between new Outlook, which is a new application which has been launched, Outlook, the paid one and the mail app. So to start with this Outlook, the paid Outlook is uh, paid obviously and the new Outlook that has been launched is a new app. So if I search for Outlook these days, I notice an option named as Outlook New which has a different logo and it has new written here. So this is not available for all users yet. It will be rolled out in a while, maybe in a month. But uh, if you are a Windows Insider, you have access to this app and the mail app obviously. So I have the comparison table here. First of all to pin emails. This is a feature that was available on Outlook for web but it was not available on the paid Outlook client. Like you won't find a pin here and you won't find a pin in the mail app either. But uh, with new Outlook you'll get an option to pin and unpin an email. The next option is to snooze emails. Now we had this on uh, Outlook for web but we didn't have it for Outlook Windows. As you can see, we don't have any option to snooze emails, but uh, we have this for the new Outlook. I'll show you. So we right click on this and we select snooze till this evening. Okay. Or uh, snooze till tomorrow. So I can snooze my emails. And uh, is this available on? Obviously, it's not available for the mail app. The third one is the my day view and I was still uh, to investigate about it because I didn't find it. I just saw, uh, saw a marker here, a green colored marker to mention the upcoming emails and calendar events. But I think I also had that on Outlook and does it have it on Outlook? Yes, it has it on Outlook as well. It just uh, we don't have it on the mail app, but we have it on Outlook. Uh, next is about inbox rules. So we cannot create inbox rules in the mail uh, app, but we can definitely create inbox rules in the Outlook uh, desktop client. Like I'll right click on it, I'll select new rules and I'll select rules and then create tools and then all. Now the new Outlook app has an option to create rules, but we have to go to advanced options and then select create rules and then we'll find the option to create rules. After this, we have conversation settings. You can change the appearance of the message. That's common for everyone. I always knew that it existed. Now, support for Microsoft 365 account. Basically, each and every of these applications have that support. And as for the third party email thing, the interesting part with new Outlook is that you can access multiple emails at the same point of time while the mail app picks up your hotmail or outlook email but you can use your gmail account but that would be a separate thing and uh, after this uh, you can create a pst file no you cannot create a pst file the best part about the paid outlook client is that you can use it to create pst files except for the pst file things think there is nothing in the new outlook that is not available uh, that you don't want to get in the paid version so the free version of outlook is actually better than the paid version if you don't need to create a pst the next one is about uh, offline support so the paid version is the only one which allows offline support and obviously the com add-ins uh, this is one more added advantage with outlook that you can add add-ins you can click on file you can select options you can go to add-ins and you'll find com add-ins here you can you can add add-ins to this one that is it now if this video is helpful then please subscribe to the channel else let us know in the comment section of this video on how we could make it better thank you for watching this video and have a nice day